Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today we're going to be taking a look at something that I consider to be extremely useful. Recently, boats and other transport items have been changed so that you can't break them while you're inside it. Now although that does lead to some more interesting boat battles, it does mean that they're a little bit harder to get out of. You sort of have to hop out and watch as your boat careers off into the edge of the ocean, and that's no good. So what I've done is design a very simple boat dock that will break down your boat before it has the chance to hit anything, and you'll get the item, which is great. Now this works using a fast pulsing lava blade which will pop out and pop back in. It will destroy the boat because when a boat touches lava it breaks, but then it won't give it enough time to actually burn the item. So it will get picked up by hoppers and pushed into a chest, and I'll show you that here. So we're in our boat, we're travelling along at great speed, and then we hop out, and you'll see our boat gets broken and picked up and put into this chest here. As far as the redstone is concerned, I haven't left much the imagination. It's all laid bare, you can see it all in front of you. This mechanism here is your actual boat dock, then we have the trip wire and the picking up area. And that is a little bit expensive, you're going to have to dig into your pockets a wee bit there, because it does involve 9 hoppers, which means around about 45 iron. So that is quite a bit. However, it is a very simple design, it doesn't take long to build in survival mode, so without further ado, let's crack straight on. So you want to get things started with a 7x4 area, the water level is marked out by this ice, you'll see it comes in here and it will go right the way across to the back, so the first thing that we're going to do is create our trip wire, which really isn't that difficult, just a trip wire hook on either side and then string going all the way across here and those should connect up, which means that you'll get a redstone output whenever you go through that, like so. Now the boat dock element is extremely simple, you just want to place two blocks like this, one repeater there and a repeater set it to four ticks with another two regular pistons and sand on top or sticky pistons with blocks on top depending on what you want to do and then redstone dust like that, a block up like this, a block there with a repeater running into a dispenser with a lava bucket inside. Now you should see that when we hit this trip wire we'll get a very fast pulse of lava which is exactly what we want. As I mentioned in the beginning, this 3x3 area and back should be filled up with water, but for the purpose of this tutorial and keeping everything clear, I'm not going to have that, I'll put that in a couple of seconds. But you just want to take out the bottom layer here, don't go too far down like I just did, and you just want to run a hopper out, and then you've just got to run all of your hoppers into that hopper. And it doesn't matter how you do that, as long as they actually get there, and then I'm going to fill in all of this area with water, because that's what it would be like in the actual build, as you can see over here. Your boat dock by definition is now complete, so if you run a boat into this middle line here, the boat will be destroyed, but these hoppers will pick up the boat item, you won't get the wooden sticks that you usually do. However, now I'm going to show you the quick modification that I made to allow you to pulse the boat up into this chest, because I quite like that feature, it saves you having to go into the water to find it, which you can see made a really strange splash there. If you go around the back, you should see that that hopper is running into that block, so you just want to place your dropper facing upwards with a chest on top like that. Then you just want to place a block here to stop the water from running out and take a comparator output from that hopper right there. That is the final hopper. Then you just want to place a block with a repeater, set it to four ticks, another block, and a repeater. Once again, set it to four ticks with a block next to it like that. And then you can replace this block here and let that water flow back in. Now you should see that if we throw any item into this hopper section, it will end up in this chest, which seems to be working well. But there we have it folks, you have built yourself a very nice and simple, fast to build boat dock that will break the boat for you, you don't have to do anything, the machine does it all for you, which is absolutely fantastic. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that like button, and if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe, but thanks for watching guys, this has been Mumbo, and I'm out, I'll see you later.